Hello beautiful people, welcome back to our channel. Thank you for always stopping by. In today's video, I want to share with us how you can use your picture, this is my picture, to destroy anything evil attack, to destroy any plans of the enemies, especially if people are after your life. They have been doing everything humanly possible to make sure that they clear you from this planet. You have gone to so many churches, they keep telling you that people want to kill you, that people want to take over your life, and within you, you know, because of the kind of dream you have, because of the kind of attacks you get, because of the kind of sickness you get, because of the kind of abject poverty they have subjected you to, everything you lay your hands on does not prosper. They want to take over what belongs to you by fire, by force. They have even succeeded in killing almost every member of your family, but you're still alive. I want to share with us how you can use just your picture to destroy whatever the enemies has done on you. If you cannot use your picture, you can use yourself to do it. But why I prepare pictures, I will tell you as the video goes on. Now, when you get your picture, you are going to get salt. This is my salt, any kind of salt you have, be it sea salt, be it iodized salt, be it local salt, just get salt. So when you get the salt, you're going to use it to make a circle. Just take the salt, use it to circle a particular place, maybe on the ground, on the table, anywhere, but I prefer you do it on the ground. Okay, if your house is carpet, please do not do it on the ground. You have to get a tray, a stainless tray, because there's other things you will need. So when you get your salt, yeah, the next thing you're going to get is four candles, four white candles. The four white candles, you are going to put it around the circle. Just use it to make a square inside that circle. You need to make a square inside the circle. Then place your picture in between. You place your picture in the center of the circle. Then use the candles. If you have made the circle, put your picture there. Then put the candles at the edge of your picture but it will not touch your picture so it doesn't burn your picture because you can still use your picture just put it at the four corners of your picture not it must not be close to your picture okay so you're going to put the picture there but if you don't want to use your picture you can sit inside the circle that is to tell you that the circle will be a bit big where you can sit or stand but if you cannot stand for the four candles to finish burning use your picture that is why i said you should use your picture then do it on the ties so that it doesn't catch fire because it may slip off before it finish burning. So what is the thing? The next thing you're going to do. Remember, I say you should make a big circle using salt. Put your picture in the middle. Then place the candles at the four corners of your picture. The next thing you're going to pray like never before. Read Psalm thirty-five if you're a Christian, and Psalm fifty-one if you're a Christian. If you're not a Christian, just pray with whatever you believe in. Now, after reading Psalm 35, we read Psalm 51. Then when the candle has finished burning, there's another psalm you are going to read. I'm going to say it towards the end of the video. The next thing you're going to do is to pray. Tell God to return every plans of the enemies, wherever, wherever they have gathered to destroy your life, to make your life miserable to torment your soul, to make you to go from one place to another in search of help, that you have come today to surrender and to hand them over to God Almighty, to return all their evil projection back to them. The way you are feeling bad, that is how all your enemies, all the people that have hand in whatever that is doing you will feel. They will never have peace until they confess until they confess, until they confess, until they confess. I know that when your enemies confess, the next thing that follows them is either death or they will turn to reborn again. They don't just confess and still remain their old life. No, they must either die or give their life to Christ. And Christ will be happy to win a soul because of your sake. So it's time for you to fight back. Remember in Psalm 23 verse 5 says, In the presence of my enemy, God will prepare my table. So if you don't have an enemy, know that there will not be any table before you. 
you will not have that precious table that God has planned for you. So they I even prefer them to be alive and give their Christ their life to Christ and watch me prosper. So that it will even motivate them not to go back to sin. They will know that if not for me, they wouldn't have God wouldn't have won their soul. So you pray like never before. If it's your sickness that you feel is spiritual, somebody had and have a hand in it. That God should return it back to the person. Let that person confess. That should be your prayer. Let that person confess. Unless you're a very hard person, you just wanted to confess and die. No, I don't want to confess and die. Let them confess. That has been my prayers to anybody that have a hand in anything that has to do with my family. And God is really fighting for me on a daily basis. I keep getting calls. I keep laughing when I hear some stories. But I know that that God that is doing it for me will continue to fight and fight for every member of my channel. As long as your hands are clean, as long as you believe in God, as long as you have not gone elsewhere to kill or to soil your hand. If you know you have gone to tie somebody's child somewhere, don't bother doing this prayer because it may return to your own children. Somebody did one of my back to sender recipes on the channel and the thing hit on the daughter. She called me that the doctor, I said, did you do anything to somebody? She did not talk for like 10 minutes. I have to end the call. After some time, she called me and started crying on the phone that she did it out of ignorance. When she got married, it took her seven years to give birth to children. She went and tied another woman in her co-wife's womb so that she would not have another child after giving birth to her first child. She did not have a child today, but she, she has gone to treat herself without knowing that it was a medical problem. And she has children, but she cannot go and reverse what she has done to another person. Now her daughter is married and she cannot bear children because of the back to send that she did. Or knowing to her that it's going to return back to all the evil things she has done to somebody will return back to her daughter. And where she went, they told her that she has a hand in what is doing to her daughter, where the daughter went. And she confessed to me, these are the things you don't do. You shouldn't put your hand if you know you are evil. Don't do any of my back to send that. Don't try it. Don't try it if you know your hands are not clean. But if you know your hands are clean, the only prayer you pray is back to send that. Do this and watch God disgrace them. And watch them confess in front of everybody and be saying all the things they have done to you and your family. You will just, be fo you just fold your hands and be listening. That is the essence of this channel. The channel is not to teach you anything evil, rather to deliver you from the evil the enemies has done to you. So if you believe in God and you know that your hands are clean, please take my recipe serious. Let's fight this battle together. Together we must win. Together the enemies will go down for our sake. So the psalm you are going to read after doing this recipe, after you have the candles are finished burning, you pack it and trash it out. Then read Psalm 23 three times and go and sleep. Or if you're going out, depending on the time you do, you can do it in the morning or in the night. Do not do this assignment in the afternoon because of the sun. Do it either in the morning or in the evening. And by the special grace of God, your, the battle will be won by you. Seriously. So try this assignment. I'll be waiting for your testimony under the comment section or on my WhatsApp number. I've come to the end of today's video. Thank you for watching and see you in my next one.